One of the first things to mention about this trawler yacht is a high flared bow, an essential component for keeping sea spray to a minimum when you are motoring through some big seas. As we move aft along the starboard side we can see the solid high passageways, essential for safety when the yacht is navigating through some gnarly weather. You can also see the large openings in the bulwarks which will allow seawater on the deck to rapidly flow back into the sea. As we enter this trawler yacht via the starboard aft gangway onto the cockpit we are met by a large open alfresco dining area with ample seating for your family and friends. On the port side of the cockpit there is a small basin to the left of the double doors which lead into the salon. Now let's head down to the large swim deck or beach club. Here we see the passerelle which is neatly stowed away and a large teak deck that is both as practical as it is functional. Now as a former Royal Navy sailor I love this name. To me this reads able seaman normal as well as abnormal. If you are a former Matlow like me then you will understand what I mean. Now let us head back up into the cockpit area of this boat. Notice here we have a CCTV camera for the bridge team, another vital safety feature and also a large floodlight as well as lots of spotlights on the overhead and a speaker on the port side. As we head up onto the sun deck we ascend a very sturdy and well placed set of stairs which lead out onto the next outside communal area of this trolley yard. When this footage was filmed the crew had set up the shades that provide some welcome respite from the sun. But this informal area really does help to highlight the functional layout and design of this trolley yard. Once the shades are stowed away then you and your guests can sit back and enjoy the view in all of her glory. Let us now continue our journey upwards and head up onto the flybridge which is probably where you, your family and your friends will spend the majority of your time whilst you are underway during the fair weather conditions. Check out this large seating area. Imagine enjoying some of your favourite food cooked by your own personal chef as you take in the scenery. This is what yachting is all about. Here we have a decent sized area for preparing your meal. Note the stacks of storage space which will help to prevent the crew from having to keep making their way down to the galley when you are entertaining your guests. On some of my previous videos some of you have said that you are not a fan of jacuzzis on motor yachts but just imagine navigating through the higher latitudes during winter and taking a dip in this jacuzzi and if that image doesn't entice your spirit then how about these bubbles instead. Taking a quick look at the radar mast of AB Normal from this angle we have a floodlight, a Furuno navigation radar, 
another CCTV camera for extra safety and security, and a dome for the yacht's communication and entertainment systems. As we head forward on the flybridge, it is worth noting that this area can be opened up, allowing the stiff breeze to fill the area when the weather conditions allow. We also have another two fridges, which have been added by the current owner. After all, nobody likes drinking a warm beer, right? As my Australian friends always like to remind me. Okay, so let's take a look at the boat deck, which is located on the bow of this fantastic trawler yacht. Of course, we have the tender, which is lowered into the water using the yacht's davit. And we also have a jet ski on the forecastle. This door here leads into the crew accommodation, which we will take a look at in a minute. On the wheelhouse, we have the traditional forward raking windows, which on this trawler yacht are surrounded by a Portuguese bridge. We have plenty of lights here also, with two spotlights for the boat deck and several spotlights which help to illuminate the walkway. Whilst we are here, let us take a quick look at the crew accommodation, which is nestled into the wow back on the trawler's bow. Here we have the crew seating area, with a nice picture of the crew enjoying some well-earned downtime. On the port side we have a crew cabin with twin single bunks. Moving forward we have the crew shower and crew heads with ample space for obviously one person at a time. As we head back out into the crew mess, opposite the double cabin, we have the captain's quarters. The crew has its own TV and a smaller monitor below the TV that can be used as a relay monitor to help keep an eye on the yacht's various mechanical and electrical systems. And now we come to my favorite part of any vessel, the helm station in the wheelhouse. As well as the traditional ship's wheel, we have the various monitors which display information from the trawler yacht's depth sounder, radar and digital charts. We also have the controls for the twin engines, as well as instrument displays for the yacht's machinery. Overhead we can see the various switches as well as the yacht's radio and communication equipment. After the helm position we have a seating area and some more relay panels for the yacht's electrical systems. Now let's head out onto the port bridge wing of AB Normal. When we look down onto the teak deck of the Portuguese bridge, we can see just how much space there is, vital for the crew when they are coming alongside. Being a former volunteer crew member for the RNLI, I am passionate about sea safety. Anyone who has spent any time at sea will tell you just how quickly things can go wrong. So it is great to see not only a life boy here, but an EPIRB too. One of these devices really could end up saving your life one day. If you don't have an EPIRB, then I will put a link in the comment section of this video that will take you to a list of various EPIRBs which can be used for a variety of different activities. Let's just now walk back round to the starboard side of AB Normal whilst having a quick look at the boat deck once again. As we move round to the starboard side, on the starboard bridge ring, there is another lifebuoy and EPIRB for those dreaded man-overboard scenarios. 
And that completes our tour of the outside spaces of AB Normal. I hope that you enjoyed that video. When the current owner of AB Normal contacted me after seeing one of my other videos, the original plan was for me to head over to the United States where AB Normal is currently located so that I could do some filming on board. But obviously with the way the world is at the moment, that just was not possible. So I wanted to say thanks to Dan, one of the crew of AB Normal, for filming this footage and for sending it over to me. At the time of making this video, AB Normal is for sale. As of the 7th of September 2021, she has an asking price of 6.85 million US dollars. If you are interested in buying this fantastic truly yacht, then I will put some contact details in the comment section. Coming up, I will be sharing some of my own footage of my favorite yachts and boats at the 2021 Southampton Boat Show. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the videos. And finally, I wanted to say thank you for watching this video and for subscribing. Please don't forget to give this video a like and if you have a boat or a yacht that you would like me to feature on this channel, then send me an email. I will put my email address up on the screen now. So until next time, fair winds and following seas.